Okay, so to start, we're going to click software instruments so we can play what we want with the MIDI. Before we start playing, I'm going to remove the metronome so we don't hear it while we're playing. And I'm also going to set the tempo to what we want. So next, we'll pick whatever instrument we want. So I'll pick these 80s wave bells. So now I'm going to play a simple track that will be the intro to the song pretty much. So next we could select all the notes and press the Q button so that they are aligned and this will quantize the notes. After we do that, we can also drag the notes to whatever length we want them, and then we can also loop the track. To add something else to the intro, let's add this Clavator. For this, I just have to play one note to make a cool effect. So now I'm going to quantize the note manually. It's easy to do it this way when there's only one note. But I'm also going to move the track over to its proper position. Because I don't want it to play right away. Or else I won't sound too great. But yeah. What we can also do is change the volume on this. So we can lower the volume as it's playing. So that it doesn't just stay the same volume. So to do this we click in a spot on the yellow line. And it adds a point, and then we could also click in another spot, and then we can lower the volume by dragging it down. Now we're going to add another instrument, and we're going to play the dark lo-fi piano. And for this, we're just going to play some simple chords. So now I'm going to move the piano track a, a couple measures up, and then I'm going to quantize the notes. And then now I'll do something that I haven't done yet. I'm going to manually drag the ends of each note to the next bar. And that'll hold out the notes so that they sound better. And then we can also loop the track. Next, we're going to add another dark low fi piano. And this will foreshadow the lead a little bit. So we're just going to play a simple track here. So yeah, let's do this. So as you can see, I played an extra note there. So I'm going to trim off the end a little bit so that we can so that it's able to loop. And then as usual, we're going to quantize the notes and then we're going to adjust the ends of them so that we can hold out the notes a little bit. And then after we have that done, we're going to move it over a couple of measures, and then we're going to loop each track like another four sets so that we can add on more tracks later. So now I'm going to get this new instrument. It's called a Pure Digital Piano. And then we're going to play some chords with it so that way we have a different instrument. It's a different sounding one. So that way we're not playing the same dark low five piano every time. Now that I edited that track, I'm going to extend the length of the song by coming up here and dragging this. And this will just give you more room to work with. 
So now I'm going to play another track here that plays after the lead stops. Now I'm going to play another track that's very similar to that. So I muted these chords so we can hear this drum pattern that I've added. So I've added in more of these wave bells. These ones are layered so they sound cooler and they will play the background to our lead. And these ones start right after our chords end. So let's see how they sound. So now we're going to add a bitrate synth, and this one will be our lead. So we're going to play a track that sounds very similar to our foreshadowing one in the beginning. So I've extended the lead and I added another track and it's chords wave bells. So they sound pretty cool and this will be another background as well. So we're going to add one more layer and this one's going to be another drum kit. This one's called After Party and this one's going to play on the drop. So yeah, let's play that right now. So now that we're done, we can edit the volumes and the reverb and tone and whatever of each track. And I've already done that so that it sounds like 10 times better. So now that we're done, we can listen to what it sounds like. 